So this video is going to be about the three levels of biodiversity. So the first level is genetic diversity. And so that's going to include genetic variation both within a population as well as the variation between populations. And so this is often associated with um, a population's ability to adapt to their local conditions. And so what we see when we see a reduction in genetic diversity is that that population now has a lowered ability to be able to adapt to a changing environment. So the next level is going to be species diversity. So species diversity is going to be the number of species in an ecosystem or across the biosphere, which is all of the ecosystems on Earth. And so relating to species diversity are a couple important terms. So one of those terms is an endangered species. And so that's going to be a species that's in danger of extinction throughout all or much of its range, which is just the natural regions, its natural geographic regions where that species can be found. And then threatened species is a species which is likely to become endangered in the near future. So they're not endangered yet, but they most likely will be uh, in, the, in a couple years. And so extinctions can be local or global. So you can have a local extinction. Let's say here in Waco, there's like a species of turtle that we can no longer find anymore, but it's found in another part of Texas. Then we would have a local extinction, but not a global extinction because that species still exists, just no longer in this region. And so lastly, we have ecosystem diversity. So ecosystem diversity is going to result because of the many different interactions between species in a particular ecosystem. And because species in an ecosystem are so interdependent on one another, the loss of population of one species has the potential to greatly impact other species in the ecosystem because they are so interdependent and intertwined. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.